It's currently 6.30 in the morning and today I'm going to be going after some catfish. It's something I don't do very often but I've heard that the spot that I'm going to be fishing can get pretty packed with catfish in the summer months. So hopefully I can get on some nice fish for you guys. I'm going to try to fish with the fly a little bit and see if I can get a catfish on the fly. That would be really cool. But I do also have some cut bait and some worms to fish for the catfish in case the fly is not working very well. So either way we should get on some fish so let's get out there and see how we do. Are you kidding me? That was like instant. Instant I got a fish. I cannot believe that. I just threw a little bluegill out there. I'm stuck on something right now, but I still have a fish on. I'm probably going to be a catfish. Nice. Let's see what he is. There's multiple different fish that could, I could catch out here. So that's kind of the fun part about here, is that I really don't know, don't know what I get until it's right up here. And I saw a flash of it there. It is nice little kitty cat. Sweet. That is not a bad fish. He is really pulling now. Well, this sure is an ugly first fish. A decent sized catfish, but I mean, it's got like a bloody lip. It's got missing an eye. Uh, not a very good looking fish, but it's our first fish though, so I'm happy with it. Let's let it go and look for that real big one. Here we go, here we go. There's another fish. Nice. Feels heavy. He's fighting harder than the last one for sure. Hopefully I can get some real big ones. Well, this catfish looks a lot better than the last one. The last one I caught looked pretty gross. And this one actually looks like a normal catfish. That's good. I was hoping I wouldn't catch a bunch of ugly fish today. I mean, catfish are kind of ugly in general, but definitely a better looking catfish. There we go. There's the fish, guys. Nice. That, this one's on a worm, a night crawler. I was gonna, <clears throat> I'm still hoping to fly fish, but there's so much current going through this channel. I'm not sure how easy it would be to fly fish. Um, it's pretty deep and a lot of current. It's pulling really hard now they got next to the boat. He kind of came in quickly and now he's doing really heavy, really hard circles right in front of me. Uh, another catfish. Man, these catfish are really pulling hard, though. Hopefully we can get some real giants, but these guys are lots of fun. So the rig that I've been using is real simple. My main line is 20 pound braided line. Then I've got a free sliding three quarter ounce egg sinker right here. Attached, or right below it is a little barrel swivel. And then I've got about three feet of 15 pound fluorocarbon all the way down to a little two out uh, hook. And then I got a little bluegill there. I caught one fish on a night crawler. The rest have been on small little bluegills like this. And it seems to be working pretty well, just kind of drifting along the edge. And these fish are picking it up, so it's working pretty well. Here we go. Got him, nice. He smacked that. <clears throat> wow, now he's running way up the channel. Jeez, this might be a good fish. It's acting like one at least, but they all kind of have felt pretty big. Dang it, not what I wanted. No, get off my anchor, you stupid fish. Well, this is gonna be a mess. Okay, and here's the little channel catfish. Nothing very big. Seems like this is about the average around here. Maybe like, I'll say 24, 25 inches. 
still a really solid fish, pretty happy with this. So let's keep fishing, see if we can get some more, and maybe I can get some on the fly. Oh, it got a fish on. <laughs> wow, I was reeling my line in. I guess I had too much slack in my line. I couldn't feel the bite because I just was reeling my line. I was gonna go make another cast and <laughs> got a fish on. Nice, hopefully he didn't swallow it. I mean, it seems like they're mostly around this size in here. I'm sure there are some real big ones though. I mean, even this one's still a good sized catfish. Hey, stop it. There we go. I still got my bluegill, perfect. Well, it's another cookie cutter, but still, lots of fun. There we go. Man, I found a little group of fish or something. There is like, this is my third fish on the same piece of blue, or the same bluegill. I've casted like all of this around this general area. And it seems like a small little area where the current's not as strong. And those fish are just hanging out right around there, it seems like. This is a, this might be a heavy fish. Hopefully this is my big one. I'm really looking for like a 30 plus inch channel cat. And this feels like it might be a bigger fish. Fingers crossed. Man, these things dig. Oh man, I think this is gonna be a better fish. I'm really hoping. It's pulling the hardest of all the ones I've caught so far. It's too hard to grab him, I'm just gonna net him. I have it, might as well use it. Nice, that's a good fish. Here's the catfish, it was 28 inches and eight and a half pounds. So real solid, nice fish. So let's get this fish back in the water and still shoot for the giant. Another one, nice. That was right after the last one. I was just talking about how it slowed down and now I've gotten two fish back to back. That, this feels like a heavy fish. Uh, I saw him real quick, another catfish. I'm gonna lose my drag a little bit so I can run. Man, these fish are fun. I can't believe that I caught two so quickly. It's been a struggle for me and I'm using the same bluegill I caught the last fish on too. Luckily, he didn't swing it off and I might, might be able to get three with it. He's still keeping the bluegill on. This is an ugly fish though. It seems like half of these catfish lo look fine and normal and half of them look super ugly and patchy and weird skin. It's kind of gross. I'm not sure if I want to keep any fish out of here, but it doesn't matter. It's still fun to catch. I don't know if you guys can hear that. He's croaking at me. There we go. Nice, finally. I just, another, another fish where I reeled into it. I did not feel that bite, but I just started reeling in my line and there was a fish there. It has been so long since I've gotten any fish and I'm assuming it's another catfish here, but it could be multiple different species really. Uh, yep, another catfish. Nice, not bad little fish. Just lip them like a bass, I guess. There we go. A little bit of a skinny fish, but still, I mean, these catfish, they have real big heads. Nice looking fish overall. Oh, and there he went. Really bit down on my thumb there. Kind of hurt. Well, the wind started to pick up quite a bit, so I figured I better head out of there before things got too rough for me to head back with the canoe. Either way, I made it back fine, so I'm pretty happy with how the day went. I caught quite a few fish, probably 10 or 15, and the biggest one I got at the very end finally, so I was pretty happy about that. 
But either way, if you guys liked it or didn't like it, I always appreciate the feedback you guys have for me, especially on videos like this where I mix it up a little bit and make you know a video of a species I'm not really normally going after. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm thinking my next video, or at least in, in the near future, I'm hoping to do some topwater pike fishing. So that's something to look forward to. But either way, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.